this is what I want to draw. I want to draw a curved wall that exactly matches all of those situations. I want it to be five feet and it's got to join at the right place. So let's see how we do that. Let's start with our walls like this. And I'm going to use my smart edge. This was the one down here, my smart edge. I'm going to use that. I'm going to draw some lines. So I hit the T key to activate my smart edge. There's my offset there. Let's draw a line across there. I need a smart edge here as well. So activate that. Make sure when you click here to start, make sure you're going along the word edge, not up here at 15 degrees. They're very close. So that should give me my start point as well. So that should be where my curve starts there. That should finish over here. Perpendicular, that's the right place. So that should be where my arc goes in. So let me just draw an arc to make sure it's in the right place. From there to there and all the way around to there. Perfect. Now I can get my wall and I can start drawing my wall and get it to join up to those places. So wall tool, going to use the curved wall, going to start here, go to that point, And now you see I'm drawing on the wrong side of the wall. Let's start going from the other direction. So I'm going to come down there, click, come back up to here, click. And then all I need to do is to join those two walls together or extend them to the right place. So that gives you all the fundamentals for drawing that part. If you're a subscriber and you belong to my YouTube or my website, check out the extended movie of this. I'm going to show you in detail how to get this done. Hey, if you like that movie, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber, or even better, become a member and get access to the extended movies. Thanks for watching.